with the introduction of the Kingsguard set and the Honor Token system, we've seen both farming materials from Rebel Leaders become both more valuable and easier to get simultaneously. A lot of players in bigger alliances recently have been spending uh, uh, diamonds on motivation because of this, because you can just directly improve your stats by effectively getting Purple Glorious stats from just hitting enough Rebel Leaders to get uh, Gold Kingsguard. There's also the idea that if your alliance commits to this en masse, it will actually pay itself back in diamonds from the chest rewards and actually be profitable, or you'll at least break even, which I think is true. You just need a very coordinated and active alliance that all commits to it, or it falls short. So there's realistically very few alliances that can actually pull that off properly. What I did here was spend 100,000 diamonds on motivation, and check the before and after of what I got, and then made some conclusions from it, and made estimates on how many diamonds or how much motivation it would take to go from purple to gold on a piece of gear, from nothing, etc. Obviously with material farming there's a lot of luck involved. I'm hitting freeze here, so that luck is somewhat minimized I think, because you can't high roll on a, a double purple or especially a double gold, which can skew the results a ton. But I think I'll do videos on 100k diamonds on uh, 4s and 5s as well, just for comparison's sake. So I'm free sh I'm uh, one shotting freeze throughout this. I kill 143 of them overall in the process. I use 97,500 diamonds on the 10k motivation packs, so I buy it 13 times. And then I use a few 200 motivation packs to bring up the value to about what 100k would give. 13 of the 10k motivation packs for me with 9,825 motivation cap gave me 125,500 motivation. So I'll overlay the materials I started with here, and I'll show you what I ended up at near the end. But across 100k diamonds I got 190 greys of the first material, 280 greys of the second material, 478 greys of the third material, and 582 greys of the fourth material. It drops five materials, but I'm pretty sure the fifth material that I don't track is the same drop rate as the third material. You can see a correlation there of the first material being the hardest to get, and then it progressively getting easier to get down the list. So to upgrade a piece of PvP gear, you need three of the first material, four of the second material, and then five of the third and fourth materials, which, if you're going from purple to gold, would be 768 greys for the first material, 1024 greys for the second material, and then... 1,280 greys for the third and fourth materials. If you do the maths on that based on what I got, you'd need to use 100k diamonds on motivation 4.04 times to get enough of the first material you need to go from purple to gold, 3.66 times to go from the second material purple to gold, 2.68 times for the third material, and 2.2 times for the fourth material. So realistically, on these numbers, you'd need to use 404,000 diamonds on motivation to go from purple to gold on an item. Maybe a little lower if you use main material chests, obviously a lot lower if you use your own motivation packs and passive motivation recovery. And it'll, it'll be about uh, 525,000 motivation to get enough materials if you just take the diamonds out of it. Is that worth it? Maybe not, maybe there are better investments out there for stat increases at the highest levels of the game if you're even thinking of doing this, like Epic Tokens and the VIP shop, they're very expensive to buy every day but very important. And buying the books you need for Awakening, Awakening is such a huge part of PvP at this point. It's the most recent thing and you can tell it's sort of power crept the previous stat increases in the game. But I don't think it's terrible value at all, I think it's at least decent, and if you do it alongside a bunch of other people in your alliance, and you can minimize the costs from all the gifts you create for it, it will be very, very good in terms of efficiency. For every three I killed here, they gave an average per hit of 1.33 grays of the first material, 1.96 of the second material, 3.34 of the third material, 
and 4.07 of the fourth material with the honor token. So by those numbers, you'd need to hit a level three rebel leader about 192 times to get a gold main material from it if you have the honor token active. Now, I don't think it sounds that intimidating when you put it like that. The honor token has made this a lot easier to do. It's obviously paid content, so you'd have to double or half the materials you get per hit and then double the amount of times you'd have to, to hit it if you don't have the honor token. I mean, either way, it's a lot of motivation, but I don't think it's that bad. But there we go, that's my findings from using 100,000 diamonds hitting level 3 rebel leaders. I will do follow up videos doing the same thing for both level 4s and 5s I think, so look out for them if your interest was kept long enough through this to still be here at this point.